Old Trafford, renovation or relocation? Old Trafford is the home of Manchester United, and it is no doubt the symbol of this club. This stadium, which holds nearly 74,000 spectators, has been a haven for the fans for 114 years. A few months ago, whispers started spreading that Sir Jim Radcliffe had plans for something new, a brand new stadium for United. The idea of turning Old Trafford into the Wembley of the North is finally on the table, potentially rivaling the iconic 90,000-seater in North London. This thought alone is enough to spark excitement and debate among fans. Construction work is underway. The familiar sights and sounds of construction fill the air. And there are many questions in the minds of fans. How will the new stadium look like? Will the new Old Trafford be really new? Let's address these questions in detail. The iconic Old Trafford Stadium. Old Trafford is the second largest football stadium in the United Kingdom, after Wembley Stadium. This stadium is so iconic that it is nicknamed as the Theatre of Dreams. For decades, Old Trafford has been more than just a venue. It has been a shrine of where dreams are born and legends are made. From the Busby Babes to the Class of 92, and later Sir Alex Ferguson's brilliance. This ground has witnessed some of football's most memorable moments. So, the history of this stadium is nothing short of an epic. Old Trafford has been United's home ground since 1910. It has been through it all, evolving over the years to keep up with the growing sea of United fans. And Old Trafford's last major expansion happened in 2006, where 8,000 seats were added, as well as new tiers in the Northwest and Northeast sections. Old Trafford, the future. It has been around two decades since the last major redevelopment plans took place, and like all great monuments, Old Trafford is not immune to the ravages of time. As the years have passed, the stadium has shown signs of wear and tear. The stadium is now reaching the end of its natural life. The cabling, the electricity supplies, everything is nearing its sell-by date. And the interiors are very cramped and difficult in places. The shambolic state of the stadium was all too apparent in a recent derby game between United and Manchester City. As Manchester United faced another disappointing home defeat against their rivals Manchester City, a small drip from the Old Trafford roof turned into a running joke among the away fans. Old Trafford is falling down, they sang, poking fun at the stadium's outdated vibe. It must have been humiliating for the United fans. Other videos of rundown parts of the ground have circulated online in recent years, and even though it is the largest club stadium in England, it was not selected to be one of the host venues for Euro 2028 in the UK and Ireland. Sorry state of affairs, right? Everyone agrees, something has to be done to bring Old Trafford into the modern age. And did you know talks of its redevelopment have been buzzing around for over a decade? You heard that right. For instance, in 2009, Manchester United shared its plans to give Old Trafford a major facelift. At that time, it felt like wishful thinking. They wanted to redevelop Sir Bobby Charlton's stand and push the capacity to a 95,000, outshining even Wembley. But as with most big ideas, reality hit hard. The nearby railway line and the need to buy up houses made the project more complicated and expensive than expected. So it was shelved. Fast forward to 2016, the club once again decided to upgrade facilities to meet accessibility standards. This led to a slight reduction in capacity, but the idea of future expansions, possibly up to 88,000 seats, was still on the table. By 2018, though, those ambitious plans were put on ice due to logistical headaches, like the possibility of having to vacate the stadium during construction. There are many a slip between the cup and the lip, right? Then, something amazing happened in 2024. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, one of the club's major shareholders, tossed in a bold idea. Why not just demolish Old Trafford and build a new stadium on the same site? 
Sir Jim Radcliffe was aware that this was a plan that would take some serious guts to pull off, and it appears that he is the right guy for the job. He is resourceful, enthusiastic, and he can make things happen. The Wembley of the North It has been a long time since Manchester United last upgraded Old Trafford. Since then, the stadium's prestige has taken a hit. While United were once ahead of the curve in investing in their infrastructure, their rivals have moved on. City, for example, shifted into a brand new stadium back in 2003, and since then, they've continued to enhance their facilities. Tottenham Hotspur and West Ham United have both opened new 60,000-seater venues. Liverpool expanded Anfield, and even City has revamped their hospitality areas. Despite this, Manchester United has realized it is time to step up their game. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is pushing for a significant overhaul. Let me tell you once again, he has floated the idea of a brand new stadium, and he has himself dubbed the future Old Trafford Stadium as the Wembley of the North. The Redevelopment Plans the execution of these grand plans will take some real efforts, but the good news is that the plans are moving forward. In fact, the club has brought in architects and consultants to sketch out concepts. However, there is some serious pushback. The fan group South Stand United has criticized the club for prioritizing player and hospitality areas over fans. They argue that the promised community benefits seem hollow when current supporters are feeling sidelined. This pushback from fans is a reminder that building a new stadium is notoriously challenging. The last major redevelopment in England was Wembley Stadium, which ran two years late and over budget by 700 million euro. Manchester United will need to learn from these missteps, setting realistic goals and budgets to avoid similar pitfalls. They should also make sure that the fans' needs are taken care of in any future development plans. Exploring Options Now let's move to another challenge that the club faces. What options do they have to maximize benefits for the players, the club, and the fans? From what we have seen in recent times, the club has a few options on the table as of now. They could go for upgrading the current structure, renovate the current structure and expand the south stand, and fully redevelop the stadium, or just build a completely new one. Jim Radcliffe's ambitions are clear. However, he has hinted at building a new stadium, which he envisions to be the Wembley of the North. He has already formed Old Trafford Regeneration Task Force that has thrown its weight behind the idea of a new stadium, which would be the largest in the UK. It is still early days, and premature to suggest that this is the only direction United will take, though it is the favoured route to create a new world-class venue with surrounding benefits. United owns 100 acres of land surrounding Old Trafford. A large piece of this land is underutilized, to say the least. It is way more than enough to build a new stadium. If the club decides in favor of building a new Old Trafford stadium, it will see the seating capacity increase to around 90,000. This is something fans of the Red Devils will love, won't they? What's more, if a new stadium is built around this area, it will not impact the match day revenue. It is what Tottenham did with their stadium. They kept playing in their old stadium until their new one was built. There is another upside if this plan is executed. The landmark Old Trafford will stay put and used for other purposes, perhaps. A stadium for women to play in. That'll make sure that the historic place of Old Trafford stays intact. There is only one thing that complicates things, the shortage of money. This new stadium within the premises of the Old Trafford is going to cost two billion pounds. That's a lot of dollars. And the biggest question in such cases is always relation to money. How is the debt-laden club afford such a massive investment? Well, there is a plan. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the British billionaire, has agreed to buy a 25% stake in the Red Devils. That makes him a co-owner of Manchester United, and he plans to inject around $236 million into the club. As part of the agreement, one of Ratcliffe's companies will also invest $158 million to upgrade Old Trafford. 
That's a good start. Radcliffe also wants to get some sort of financial help from the government as well. Only time will tell whether he gets it or not. The financial conditions to embark upon this development plan are promising. The club has already hired the best architectural design firm that is Populous. You must be aware that this firm is credited with designing some of the most remarkable stadiums in not only England, but all over the world. Hiring Populous firm is a signal that a huge project is well on the horizon. While there is almost certainty that a new stadium is going to be built in the near vicinity of Old Trafford, there are some other less expensive options to explore. For example, they can redevelop Old Trafford. There are examples to follow if the Manchester United follows this path. Barcelona, Real Madrid, and even Liverpool have done something similar, and they are not complaining. In fact, some of the United fans want to follow the example of these historic clubs. This option will cost £800 million as opposed to £2 billion for construction of a brand new stadium. But there is a problem if they set out to renovate Old Trafford. It will take years to complete, and it could really mess with their match day revenue. It is for this reason that I do not think that this option is being considered as of now. But the fans, the more hardcore ones, want the prestige of Old Trafford rejuvenated. And the only way for these fans is to see their stadium renovated or redeveloped instead of constructing a new one. This is a debate that is going on for years to come. The club for now has big decisions to make. They will have challenges on whatever the decisions that they make. But one thing is for sure. There are great plans in offing, and only time will tell if these plans will come to fruition. So, what do you think, fans? Should United stay at Old Trafford and renovate, or is it time for a new era in a brand new stadium? The fans' voices are important in this decision. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.